In this video, I will show you how to get more gold when doing sunset cloister runs. In addition, I will give some important tips along the way. So, be sure to watch the whole video. If you are new in the game and you don't know what Sunset Cloister is, I've already uploaded a detailed Sunset Cloister guide on my YouTube channel. I've put the link in the video description down below. So, be sure to check it out. Now that is out of the way. Let's get started. The first thing that you need to get is the Noblesse Blessing buff. NB buff will boost the drop rate chance of gold by plus 50%. In August 2021, the current NB schedule is in St. Haven at 10 p.m. GMT plus 8 o'clock. So be sure to stay at St. Haven before 10 p.m. The next thing to get is optional, which is the Abundance Talisman. Go to Crystal Point Shop NPC and buy the Abundance Talisman for 12,000 Crystal Points. Abundance Talisman base stats grant the user plus 15% additional gold attainment, and to boost the Talisman stat, put it on the 200 percentile talisman slot. It will boost the abundance talisman stats to plus 30% gold. The last thing to get is the combined skill gold additional attainment passive. This passive skill helps to increase gold attainment by 5%. To unlock this skill, you will need to have 5 max level characters in your account. Now, to enter Sunset Cloister, you need to go to Red Lotus Palace, Go to the Cracks of Time and Space portal, and select Sunset Watchtower. Inside you will see the portal for the Sunset Cloister. I have a total of 99 Sunset Cloister maps. Let's see how much gold I can get after the NB buff is gone. In total, I've used 53 out of 99 Sunset Cloister maps and gained 21,266 gold. Have you done your Sunset Cloister run? If yes, comment down, how many golds did you get? Before you go, don't forget to hit the like button. That's all for this guide. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.